Hi everyone, I have a new album for you. I'm calling this one Spring because I am excited for the birds to start chirping and the flowers to start blooming. I am so, so ready. So I just want to show you this one is a chipboard album in the shape of a birdhouse. I've left the cover off so that you can see that. I've just placed it on a book ring with some coordinating fibers, ribbons here to match. This one's only four pages because I, you know, get a little chunky with my book. So I just wanted to do a quick mini that I can show you today. I have cut the shapes out for the front of this book with my Cricut and I used my Gypsy to help organize the file so that I will remember the shapes that I used and have the exact sizes and things I needed. So I want to show you just a quick tip on the Gypsy for those of you that have one. I have my file here opened up and if you want to ever create multiple pages on your Gypsy then you would simply press this purple dot with a plus sign here and you will automatically get another box pop up with a second page. Um, and you can do that for as many pages as you would like to add. So just a quick tip for those of you that are Gypsy users. I haven't welded anything on this particular mini album, but I wanted to show you how it can help organize you and your, pro excuse me, and your projects. So on page two, I've got just my bird. On page one, I've got two flourishes in two different sizes, which I used here on the album to kind of do two different Let's go here back to my Gypsy. The other tip that I wanted to share with you, if you go into your keyboard, you will see the name of the cartridge that you're looking at pop up down here in the cartridge queue. If you press inside the cartridge queue, you have a full list of all cartridges available through Cricut. So here you're looking at your all cartridge library, but if you just want to look at the cartridges that you own and have linked to your particular Gypsy, then you would pull down this menu here and instead of all cartridges, you have the option of selecting linked cartridges. So then when you look at the menu, it should just be all black and full of the cartridges that you've linked to your machine. Now the other option that you have, and the one I really like, um, is if you've forgotten what you used in your project, and I do this a lot unfortunately, um, I'll create things and save it and then I've forgotten which ones I created with. So when I go to share it, I need to remember. If you ever have that happen to you, you can select the cartridges in use option and you will get a little pull down menu of whatever cartridges you have used to create that file. So if you ever download a file from the internet or someone shares a file with you and you want to see what cartridges they use, this is the this is where you would go to check that. So just a tip for you today for the, you gypsy owners that want to help remind yourself where um, you pulled your images from or if you're sharing a file with a friend, if, you, if they want to know where that image came from, they can. So on my particular book here, I used um, Home Accents and the bird came from 50 states. And you have a lot of options with 50 states on the kind of bird that you want to make. So that's really fun. Now the top part of this I hand cut, just measured the roof line and did a little V cut here to match the line I wanted it to do. And then I also ran it through the cuddle bug to get that kind of embossed look and then I distressed it with some ink. I stamped it with an American craft stamp that says spring because that's what I'm calling it. And then I used some of the Distress Stickles that seem to match this brown really well uh, for the chimney line there. Now on my first two pages I have a little pull out tag as you can see here. Um, so I can put some journaling behind there and then put a photo on the tag and it says Joy. And on this side I put another little mat and stamped Have a Splendid Day. Also punched out a little daisy that I've raised up on a puff dot and use one of these little glimmer buttons. Um, all of this paper I believe is American Crafts so it was really super cute paper and, and really reminded me a lot of spring. Now on this page I just used a couple of little flowers and some bling. Um, also did a different Cricut shape here. This is from the Songbird cartridge and this cuts out as one piece and then I just layered a smaller piece using my Gypsy to bring that down enough to make a nice photo mat in there. Uh, the little letters tweet also are from the Songbird cartridge and I really love cartridges like that where you get a, a full 
array of shapes plus an added font. Um, now on this back page I used a little velvety rickrack for that roof line and another simple photo mat. I stamped grow here at the bottom and I cut out one of the flowers from the paper and just added some glassy accents. Or, sorry, I said glassy, I meant glossy accents to make that um, embellishment pop a little bit. And on these last two pages, here's another Cricut shape. I really love this one. It's nice and simple, but I just layered a couple of pieces together from the Accent Essentials cartridge, and then I raised it up on foam dots so that you can easily slide the picture on one end, and then the foam dots on the bottom keep it from coming all the way through. And I just love this paper with the cute little pink birds. Um, and this paper on this side also really matches it nicely. And I just took out the pieces that came out from this one and created a separate little slide looking photo mat here. Raised it on puff dots and then used these 3D uh, Jolie stickers on this side. So just a quick little mini album that helped get you in the mood for spring. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to post a comment, please do so. It helps others know whether this video is worth watching or not. And if you have any questions or want some more information on the projects I create, feel free to visit www.creativecutter.org. Thank you.